George Clooney reportedly danced with both Meghan Markle and the Duchess Catherine at Saturday's royal wedding reception. The 57-year-old Hollywood superstar enjoyed some time on the dance floor with the two royal brides in the star-studded bash held in Windsor's Frogmore House, but was snubbed by the Duchess of York Sarah Ferguson, according to The Mirror. George and his wife Amal, 40, were among a slew of celebrity guests invited to see Meghan and Prince Harry tie the knot on Saturday, alongside actor Tom Hardy, TV legend Oprah Winfrey and David and Victoria Beckham. As the evening reception got into full swing, George reportedly enjoyed a dance with the now Duchess of Sussex before taking to the floor with Duchess of Cambridge Catherine. But when the actor reportedly approached Fergie for a twirl, she declined to the amusement of other guests. Mail in Line has contacted a representative for George Clooney for more information. The evening proved to be a lavish affair after millions round the world saw Harry and Meghan exchange their vows. With a star-studded congregation among the 800 guests taking their seats in St. George's Chapel. Ever stylish Amal was effortlessly chic in a mustard yellow midi dress and matching train as she arrived for the event hand in hand with husband of three years George, who looked at her in a simple grey suit. The human rights lawyer added to her look with a netted side hat and gold pointed heels, keeping her makeup simple and glowing as she arrived in the church. Hosted by Harry's father Prince Charles, the reception proved to be a grand evening for many, through some guests, told the publication that it was far from traditional. Later on in the evening Harry's favorite house tracks curated by DJ Sam Totoli, who also performed at Pip Middleton's wedding and a Drinks of the World-themed bar, and their first dance was said to have been Whitney Houston's I Wanna Dance with Somebody, giving a further nod to Meghan's American heritage. Also on the menu were Candifless and Dirty Burgers as midnight snacks. While one source reported a cocktail featuring ginger and rum was on the menu as a cheeky nod to Harry's red hair, named when Harry met Meghan. The sit-down dinner was organic, sourced at the request of Prince Charles, and the light bite canips were themed spring meets summer. The meal, paid for by the Prince of Wales, ran from 7.30 p.m. to around 10 p.m. There were said to have been naughty speeches from William and a joint effort from Tom Skippianskop and Tom Van Strabenzi, while Harry reportedly ended his emotional speech by gushing, you are the people that make me me in my Harry life, which as you know, is the backbone to Prince Harry. Meghan is also thought to have thanked the royal family for welcoming her into the firm, ending her own unexpected speech with, I have found my prince. Guests are also understood to have returned to London late last night for an after-after party at celebrity favourite Chiltern Firehouse in Marylebone.